Hello everybody and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. We're back at it and here we go. I stand up from my desk and sit in the one next to her. Dot dot dot? Uh, I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But... I could tell you that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How were you even able to tell what I was thinking, uh, I was thinking like that? Well... It's something that I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. N not that I was staring or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your, your troubles are only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. <laughs> of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Ah, it's not really that big a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little off today. But when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh, that's quite romantic. Eh? S sorry, I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that, I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sayori and I have just been friends for a long time, that's all. Ah, I see. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe... Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Ranzik, the world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah... So you think there might be a little, uh, there might be something behind it after all. Mm. I think that Sori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head. And she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today, too. I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it always looked like she was fully occupied in your thoughts, wasn't she? Well... I guess that was the case. Sayori, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Mm, dot dot dot. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I invert my gaze. Sometimes person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. Th that is I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy, so I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that's not a, a compliment, is it? It is what it is. Anyways, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah, I should be, ta I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Dot dot dot. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out- Oh, after some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I knew it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Who should I show my poem first to? Well... It seems that Natsuki was the one that I had the most fondness for this poem, which I was hoping for, so boom. Mm, dot dot dot. Finally! Eh? This one! It's good! I was wondering how long it would take you. Alright! Yeah, seriously. Don't listen to what anyone else says, especially Yuri. Just keep po writing poems like this. That's all you need. Eh. Uh, are you sure that's not just what you want. Excuse me? You're talking to a pro, you know. Don't you think you should trust my opinion the most? I guess that depends. Aren't you biased towards poems that are more simple and cute? Biased? 
Of course not. My opinion just happens to be the best. <laughs> Oh boy, do I know somebody like that. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, dot dot dot. There's one thing I still can't tell. Is Natsuki actually self-aware of her spoiled behavior? At this rate, I don't know if I'll ever figure it out. Fair enough. I'm glad that you like my poem, after all. Aha! I knew you finally understand. Just keep showing me your poems and you'll be a pro before you know it. Anyway, here's one I wrote. I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminish your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap. In a way you thought you had left me long ago, let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea and let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail. Set, your f set you free in my windy sail. And remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach you, that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap. In a way you thought you had left long ago. But if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. I'm taking it that um, Natsuki here hates herself. That's the only hint I had. I don't really know what to read from this poem, but and so we'll just continue on. Yeah! I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I want to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome! Kinda hard to write anything negative about the beach. So you decided to write about the beach first, then came up with a message later. Yeah, well, it's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after Yuri and I realized we kind of wrote about the same thing. Ah. I wonder who that could be. She wanted to pick a topic. She wanted to pick a topic to have us both write about, or whatever. Ugh. You can really see her doing that, too. Making us write about a simple topic, then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended with kind of metaphorical too. But there's something wrong with doing that once in a while. Oh God, I am sorry about the yawns. At the very least, it was very good practice. Um, I guess we'll just go to Sayori. Dot dot dot. I should have talked to her first. I was concerned. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Natsuki. Eh? I didn't write, any write this for anyone specifically. <coughs> Lies. <coughs> I'm totally did. <coughs> Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. I don't like that. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. It's like somebody's trying to say farewell. My cat's eating candy wrappers. Hold on. Stop it. Stop it. Why do you want the plaza? This. Why do you want this? Yeah, you better run. It's garbage. I just have a couple of candy wrappers on my desk, and my cat decided to come up and be like, Oh, candy wrappers! Cats. Of course I am! Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Ransik. Sayori, is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Alright! No, no, she's not okay. She is not okay. I am looking at like a hundred different ways. All the flags are flying in the air. 
If I could, if this was a person I knew in real life, I'd be slapping the crap out of them right now, telling, get them to tell me what's wrong. Just tell me if you need anything, all right? I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay. I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayori. Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Who should I sh show my poem to next? Well, I guess I'll show it to Monica. Hi, Ranzik. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in a bunch of in front of a bunch of people. I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. Whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It'll also make me happy to see. Ah. Anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I'll let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Dot dot dot. I like it, Ranzik. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Ah. Oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. <laughs> if you say so. Yep. By any chance, have you read anything by Shel Silverstein? Eh? Maybe a long time ago. He's famous for telling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words. His poems can, his poems can be funny, endearing, or even sad. Wait, was that me that... Okay, no, that was definitely me. His poems can be funny, endearing, or even sad. And sometimes they're only a few lines long. You might even feel like they're write written for kids, but if you think about them... Also, sorry if I'm, like, reading too fast and then I, like, click without thinking. In my head, I'm a speed reader and I can read this almost instantly, so reading out loud is a little harder for me. They can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. They can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably won't find much uh, filler in her poems. It might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Uh, alright. The Lady Who Knows Everything an old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth, the lady who knows everything, a beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather, lost to drift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the uh, tulip sky. Until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall. And I fall and fall and fall even more, gentle as a feather. A dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the, th between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And what we seek, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist? And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Uh, okay. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sort of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had a, all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? Hmm. You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Yeah, I've noticed that too! 
Is it just me, or does Sayori seem a little worse off after talking to Monica? Hmm. Uh, are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Sorry, this is on my mind, and I gotta get it out. Because Sayori was right there in the, like, back and whatever, and... Oh, oh, sorry. I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Because Sayori was okay, and she was, like, in the back, kind of just being quiet and all that. She didn't start to want to leave home until... After Monica talked to her, or she showed me the poem, which sounded... I don't know. Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional. That's the third, fourth wall breaking, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, that. Um... Uh... Monica? Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. Yeah! Oh my god, yeah, that is true. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it'll make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Ugh. Monica gives me... a wary feeling. But then again... It just might be some light-hearted jokes. Light-hearted if I didn't see all those warnings at the beginning of the game. Dot dot dot. I see. I think you're improving at writing in general, Ranzik. But I can't help but feel a little bit foolish. Eh? What for? Just... I feel like I kept trying to offer advice. And when it should have been clear to me that you prefer a different writing style, I probably just sounded arrogant. I'm so stupid. Yuri, that's a little... No, you don't understand. I spend so much time worrying about what's better and what's worse. Not just with you, with Natsuki and Sayori. It's obvious why nobody has fun when talking to me. And because of that, I'll just keep my mouth shut about your poem. Dot dot dot. Yuri buri buries her head into my arms. Uh, her arms on her desk. That's not the first time I've seen her do that. I don't think that's... I don't think it's ever as bad as you make it sound in your head. I think if people really didn't like talking to you, then it would be a lot more obvious. I know that you like to read deeply into things, but some things are just worth digging at face value. I just... I've gotten so used to it that it's hard for me to comprehend with any other possibility. Gotten used to what? Reading deeply into things? Being disliked? Oh! Yuri... What am I saying? I'm sorry. I never meant to bring this up. Yuri turns away from me. You should go. I want to give her a hug. She's the type of person that just needs a hug. Eh? Please. Please don't look at me right now. I want to do some thinking. Are you sure? Yuri nods. Alright. I leave Yuri be. Comforting or reassuring her is nearly impossible as is. When she wants to be alone, I think anything I say could only make things worse. I feel bad, but thankfully she doesn't take it out on me. I'll wait until she's feeling a little bit better. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we still start figuring out... Hold on a second. Is it just me or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. Wait. I don't see anything strange. Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from the usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Stank the sneaking here is coming foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe? Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah, uh, I 
seems you're right. <sighs> Sorry, we always help lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyways? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on! Ah, actually, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for the two of you being all lovey-dovey. Ah, no. First of all, something misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I don't want to force. didn't want to force it. Oh? That curious expression coming out of Yuri, of all people? Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What did she say? You... Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so... You avoided that question! I don't like that! Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing! That's right! Natsuki will be making cupcakes! And we might need a lot of them, in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted! As, and as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry band clips. Sorry will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Yuri, you can... Uh, um... Natsuki? Question mark? Guys? Can you help me overcome something of Yuri? I... I'm useless. No, no! That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. And now Natsuki's pounding too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I'll never give Sa and I never gave uh, Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Ah, uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know. So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that, I... I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares in, at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Ranzik. The only one who is truly useless. <laughs> don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It'll be a prob it would probably be a go a long way to help give one of them a hand. You can always help me out as well. I'm really appreciative of that. Ah, that's... Is Monica suggesting to spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Ah, uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even you don't know how to bake, so there's always some dirty work I can give you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting your butt anywhere. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that we'd like to handle baking on your own. Renzik may not be around, may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he might be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyways? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Ranzik to... What are you saying? It'll be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys! Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Ranzik to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten a chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... Uh, I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Ranzik, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Ah. Of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case... Everyone looks straight at me. But of course, I'm gonna go with... Eh. Um... Shoot. Shoot. This is bad. This is very bad. Thought process. I'm worried about Sayori. She's not doing right. Something isn't right with Sayori right now. Monica... Monica seems fine. She's normal. Yuri... Depressed. Natsuki... Kind of... Hard to read. You're depressed. I'm gonna 
gonna go with Sayori real quick. I'm going to just go with Sayori. I gotta know. I gotta know. I mean, if it's gonna be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and... But Monica said... Monica said that Soria was helping her. Jeez. Do you really hate us that much? No, no! Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just think of the club, okay? Oh. I'm gonna be a little filthy cheater. <laughs> I, I cheated, basically. Um, hold up. I need to check... Okay, I'm sorry, I had to click out of the screen this time because my OBS looked like it was being weird, but it was just my imagination. <clears throat> Alright! I'm gonna go with... You like anime? I never spelt, spent any time with Monica, though. Uh, if I go with Monica, mm, okay, and just for the record, I'm going to assume that everybody here is at least 18. <laughs> all right, everybody's 18, I'm 18, everybody is in this fantasy magical world, all right? Because she looks, if you were to look at body, she looks like she's like uh, 16, uh, 20, uh, 18? Oh, that's kind of weird. Hey, that's weird. Youngest, middle, oldest. Oh, wait, that... What am I talking about? They just told me this in the game. I'm going with Natsuki. Well, baking sounds like it could be fun. And you guys made it sound like a lot of work, so I could probably use two people. Don't worry. Baking is a ton of fun. You'll definitely agree. Eh, just a minute ago you were saying that. That's because... Never mind, okay? Well, anyway... You'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Uh, of course. I'm used to it up. Son of a bitch! <sighs> Yuri! Well, I'll probably be most helpfully helping out Yuri. But me? Are you serious? Why would you... Natsuki, I can already tell you that you're about to say something mean. But no! I was just saying... Ugh. So are you helping Yuri then, Rinzik? Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, and thank you, Monica, for telling me to save before every choice. That was an ingenious suggestion. I am taking that to heart. I should have done that before. That's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sort of things. Yes, you do. I'm giving you the pity choice. So I think... So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I will be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited might not be the right word. But I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Rinsk? Me? Uh, I guess you can say I'm interested to see how it turns out. And that's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Dot dot dot. Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. But no, that's not what I meant at all. Ah, uh, Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I'm sorry for this. I really don't know why Ranzik picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. But why? Um... I'm the only one- I'm the one acting mature. I already know that. You're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. Uh, I know, I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are taken aback by Yuri's words. When she was al when she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up might be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work out perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori would always help everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No! I kind of appreciate that. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. You better be- you better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Ah, I believe you. Yeah! I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for me uh, today. 
So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. They start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Uh, um... Eh? I turn around. Sorry. I realize that I don't really have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. Yuri and I exchange porn phone numbers. <clears throat> okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? I is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought I'd be going to your house since I'm the one helping you. I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter either way. I just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I can manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Ranzik. I think that we make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait! You don't actually think that, do you? Stop reading my mind! I need a break. I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Bye.